back to the Aisha household. Aisha's yammering away in the telephone. Carrot is starving. There's food right there. It's not difficult. Carrot. Don't become an enemy of the series like Darren down here. Who's a... Uh, we all saw uh, having hearts towards Cassandra Goff. Why are you attracted to her again? Like, as soon as you finish hating her, you're like, Oh, yeah, that Cassandra Goff. She's attractive. Honestly, how terrible. At least he's not attracted to Iron. That's always a plus for the series. And look, Aisha's being so nice. If only she knew. And Lauren's doing that. She's always doing that. Oh, Aisha's joining in. Don't humour her. She'll never learn if you keep enabling her like this. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, what is that? It's like a... It's one of those darts. Is there a lawn dart in my wall? Jesus Christ. These people, honestly, absolutely useless. Where are you going? To congratulate Darren on what? His successful failure. Darren has never done anything worthy of congratulation, I think, his entire life. Go make crepes. That's what we're having for dinner. Darren, if you're going to that fridge. That's what I thought. You know what, Darren? It's 1am. Just go to bed. Coffee's not going to help at this point. Just get out from under my feet. Uh, you're already asleep. But, you know, Lord knows. You want to buy a Womrat cage? What on earth is a Womrat? I have never heard of that. Weird. Surely Manel is going to age up soon. Because we're all waiting. It's taken her a while, don't you think? And everyone else is like child by now. Oh my god, Aisha. Why? 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 Was the party that not enough? You want more disaster in the series? Are you're moving the child away from the fire. That is a good move. That is an impeccable... And she's leaving the house. Allowing the fire department... Well, you're putting it on the cold ground, but other than that, impeccable decision-making ability, Aisha. Wow, that I really didn't expect that from the series, which had us spinning around in circles, refusing to call the fire department, and all the other idiocy we've encountered. Aisha knows what to do in a fire which makes her the smartest out of the bunch. Now you're feeding the child, but you're clearly starving to death. You really are going to lose your title as smartest of the bunch. Put the child back on the floor. It's where she belongs. Uh, don't. Are you like... Oh, my. You know what? You're not the smartest of the bunch. You are not the smartest of the bunch. You just set the house on fire, burning those crepes, and then you decide to get, like, a match out and play with it. Playing with matches is not what we do, but this is going to be the thumbnail. She clearly has broken her ankle, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, yeah, the fire... Oh, no, it's, it's upsetting for Darren. I didn't think he even cared about your wife, and for you. Are, gonna, are we going to extinguish the flames? You just wait for the firemen to come again. Don't do anything for yourselves, as usual. Okay, right. Well... Is the, at least the crepes are gone. You're hungry. Why don't you try and make something else? Cereal, perhaps. Cereal. You can't set the house on fire making cereal. You are on the verge of starving to death. And you'll just do... If you die, Aisha, you I will engrave on your tombstone, idiot. Because everything you've done so far this episode has been incredibly stupid. And you are on the verge of death. The fires are really taken out of you. Go and eat the cereal. Go and eat the cereal. And think about what you've done. Because really, this has been a terrible start to the episode. Normally, we save all of the drama for the second half, you know? So you have to watch a bit in order to get what you really came for. Keeps the viewers hooked. But, you know, no, you've just gone and spoiled it. And you're taking out the trash. Can you take out Darren? He is trash. I'll rejoin you in the morning. All right, well, it is morning. Uh, everyone's still in a bit of a terrible mood. But aren't they always? Darren is awake. No one asked for that. Uh, you? You probably have... It's Saturday. Oh, you're on the verge of a mental breakdown. I see. If I buy that one rat cage, will that prevent you from 
losing your marbles. What is a one rat cage? It's gonna be in pets. One rat. Is it this thing? It looks like it. Mammal containment unit. What? This one kind of matches our house. We can have your one rat thingy there. Is that are you? Not yet. Yeah, now he's not gonna have a mental breakdown. Good. Good. I am happy. We can even fill it with something. Perhaps a one rat. Get out of bed. Come on. We all, we're all excited for the new family pet except for Darren. What a Debbie Downer. Honestly. Oh my god. We can have this. This. Or like the demon one. Which is going to cast hell onto our poor home. Let's go with the one that looks a bit more regular. It's a guinea pig. What are we going to name it? I don't know. Leave names in the comment. You know what? I'm going to name it after our loyal viewer, Fiorella Butcher. There you go. You are now a little hamster thing. Maybe I'll add you to the series later. You can be a member of the cast. But for now, you're going to be that. At least you got a better life than Charlotte did. Let's be real. Can you all go and get ready and have a shower? Aisha crying is not helping anyone. Look at Manel. She's crying. And does her needs ever get dealt with? No. No. No, they don't. And you're crying because you're tired. Oh, you can't sleep because of Manel. Well, then why don't you go to sleep in another bed? It's just, you got to put two and two together. Can't sleep because your child is screaming because you neglect it. Go and sleep in a different place of the house. And you need to feed this pet that you hate, Darren, because we feed you and you're hated by all. So, how about that? Let's play with Fiorella Butcher. How is she doing? Great. That is a really weird thing to do with a guinea pig. I'm not even thinking you're supposed to hold it like that. That is probably dangerous for it. You really are. You're a terrible pet owner, Darren. You should feel bad. Bad, I tell you. And you're hungry and you're dying. Well, everyone's hungry and dying. Give it the program. Oh, you don't even know how to cook. I forget. You're so useless. Honestly, Darren. Honestly. And you're having no fun. Well, you know what? Life isn't fun, Aisha. I hate to break it to you. It just isn't. And are you not supposed to go to work today? Oh, you're still on maternity leave, aren't you? Of course, of course. Is Aisha available to talk? Yeah, sure. I should go and answer the phone. Maybe Ellen will bring you fun. Is a sentence no one has ever spoken. You are just crying. What do you want? Stop dealing with the child. Honestly. The child is not bringing any of you joy. You are clearly starving to death. And having no fun. And the environment is terrible. Possibly because you keep putting the child in it. Honestly. And Aisha's having no fun. Aisha, go and use the car. The car is fun, and it gets you away from me. No, don't just sit in it. That, that's not how you have fun. Uh, take a spin. Go and have fun. Darren? Darren, do you... What the hell? Who just put a bunch of vegetables on the floor? I know none of you are smart enough to cook with vegetables. Deal with the child. Somebody deal with the child. It's going to age up one day, and it's going to resent you. Because we are not good parents. Put it back in its little thing where it lives. The kitchen floor is not a suitable place for the child to live. Then we need to clean up this. We need to clean up this. We need to clean up everything. You hear me? Aisha's going to get home and she's going to be happy. No. She's never happy. Because she lives in this house. This house would make anyone miserable after about what? Ten minutes? How long? Leave a comment. How long could you spend with Darren before you wanted to like stab people with a fork? It's a... Uh, Intriguing question. Scientists have been trying to answer it for years. You're having no social and you're having no fun and you're really hungry. You're just a bit difficult, aren't you? Have a TV dinner. Play games. We'll deal with social later. You don't need friends. No one in this house has friends. Not even Aisha. Her friends have like looked at her and looked at Darren and been like, you know what? I'd rather not be friends with her than spend a minute with Darren Dreamer. Because one minute is all I take. Before I start stabbing people with a fork. And I see you're starving to death again, Aisha. Why is this? Why can't you just uh, not do that for a second? Do you know what we need? Where's the telephone? Yeah, use the telephone. Call for pizza. We need pizza. Pizza's very filling. And it is very necessary. You can't have a good life without pizza. That's what I always say. Order pizza. Go to bed. Yes. Right, now let's wait for the pizza to arrive. 
Right, we have pizza. Delicious pizza. Nutritious pizza. Not starving to death pizza. Oh wow, you even put it on the little table. That is so advanced. Look, look at the slices. Mm. Oh, I can even pick what slice they take. Oh, that is, that's too much power for one man to have. Um, you are doing one of this is snowboarding. Well, that's not helpful. You're having no social, and if you don't act now, all your friends will find something else to do with their lives. Cool, Sim. Stop complaining and do it. You, you're still hungry. Eat the pizza, Aisha. You can sleep when you're in hell. You need the pizza and you need it now. Oh, just stand in the way of the chair. It's a cordless phone. You could have stood anywhere. Oh, we can't call Lilith, of course. She doesn't have a phone. We learned that. We're not going to call Iron because uh, we've gone on that road before. We're obviously not calling Cassandra. So, Mia Brown it is. Talk to Mia Brown. She's an interesting character, she is. What? Oh my god, literal chills. I genuinely had a heart attack. It's very, very late. And I've been very, very on edge. And now I think I know why. There's a demon in the house. What the hell? Social bunny. Are you here to eat my children? The hell is this? No, it, it, nobody's paying you any attention, which is not the response that I would have. Uh, when are you going to bed, Aisha? Oh, because the child's screaming in your room. Well, you know what? Nobody deal with that child. Oh my god, but do you want to sleep down here where the bunny is here to eat your soul? And you can't because Darren has taken the bed. Darren, the useless layabout loser who's not even dealing with the child. Okay. Um... Okay. Question. How come Darren, there's no bunny? Aisha, there's the ghost of the demon bunny. And then, who, what, who is this child? Dirk, there is a full demon bunny. It's even dirty. Oh my god, oh my god. Where'd it go? Is it upstairs? I'm deeply unnerved by that rabbit. I don't know where it went, but wherever it is, it's definitely killing children. Just go to bed. Coffee is not going to help you guys. When will you learn this? Like, you could deal with your child that you're neglecting, and then maybe you get sleep in your own bed, but you're not that smart or with it, are you? And honestly, I wouldn't be making the best decisions if I, my house, was being haunted by the rabbit of souls past. Jeez. I'm ooh, shaking up like that. Do your homework. Do your homework. You've got to get smart. You've got to get a good job. And then maybe you can live in a different house. Because I wouldn't want to inherit this place. This is a classic haunted house. There's a body buried in the back. Right on cue. Oh, and now you're possessing your own gravestone. Hi, Darlene. I was just talking about how there's a body in the backyard. Did you uh, hear that? There was another ghost stealing your glory, the pink rabbit, and now you want your moment in the sun, do you, Darlene? Well, you know what? You're a problem child. You don't like Manel. She's a baby. What is your? What is wrong with you? Why do you hate babies? Is it because you like to murder them and eat their skin, and that's how you gain your ghostly form? I can only assume because you don't speak to me, Manel. I mean, didn't I mean, Darlene? I'm getting a bit confused with the casting characters. Yeah. Okay. So, just a quick recap. Uh, the day, the day of Aisha Yusuf's life. Um, she wakes up. She sets the house on fire. She sets herself on fire. She then gets haunted by an evil rabbit. Haunted by the evil ghost of Darren's ex-wife. And genuinely has a miserable miserable time. She spends the entire day starving to death and then getting calls harassed on the phone by Eleanor. Oh and look, the cat like shit on its bed and now we have to clean it. 
What a fantastic time. All right, we're here with Eleanor Stark, because why not? She does harass people on the phones, but really, she's coming up... Well, I was gonna say she's coming up pretty good, but she does have that whole thing with Iron. She's rich, evil, and stupid, as opposed to just the regular variety of evil and stupid that we have everywhere else. Holly, I would argue, is coming out the best. She, Holly started the series, like, being the worst. We all thought something weird had gone on. She spent the whole of season one being an absolute angel. And then we rocked up to season two, and she was like the devil incarnate. She was always getting in the way of all our relationships. But now, did you just put a bottle of champagne in the bin? I'm gonna beat you. But yeah, now I'm starting to see what happened. Holly really was never evil. She was doing the right thing all along because all our relationships brought us is misery. And now everyone is fighting, tearing each other apart, you know, like they did in season one. And she is not, and she is once again amazing. Maybe it was after the vote for best sim she decided that she was going to turn her life around. We don't know. We don't know what happened. Maybe Holly was playing the long game. Maybe she's just trying to get attention for herself. Holly is a bit of a mystery. Even the children are now reading the USA Today. Please stop. Just stop. Stop, stop, stop. You're in a great mood. Which is un oh, you need to go to work. Well, go then. Take your sports car to your job as a sous chef. They show up the real chef's going to be embarrassed because he's going to have like a busted up Toyota Corolla and you're rocking up in a Lamborghini and you don't even have to tell anyone about Weldon, the senator. You can just claim that you are richer and better all of your own skill and ability. I remember now, these kids don't have beds. There's one bed for both children, but we can't afford a bed until Erna gets home from work. So you know what, Viola, this is your punishment for what you did with the champagne. You need to sleep. Well, go and sleep in that bed. The shared bed. The children bed for the dirty children. Uh, and Richard, you're also in a great mood. Everyone's really in a good mood. There's not a lot going on in this house, so it's kind of a bit depressing after the uh, nightmare that was Aisha's household. We don't know what's going on over there. Clearly there's a bit of like meth in the water supply or something. Let's just wait for Ellen to return. When does she return, by the way? Oh god, we lost all our friends. All the Weldon's friends. He thinks he's so good because he has friends. Are you coming home at 9pm? Oh god, you're aging again. 17 days? Jesus Christ, it feels like only yesterday we got the immortality potion and now we're already halfway to death again. God, I'm very concerned. Eleanor returned home from work. Didn't get promotion because he needed more logic skill. Why don't you go and play some chess, Eleanor? Play the chess. Play it. Learn. Richard's just skin and bones. Is he really? Yes, he is. Richard, you've got to feed yourself. I swear to God. How old are you now? Like, there's food in the fridge. Go and eat it. You don't want to end up being an adult who can't feed themselves like Aisha. Or Eleanor. Even though she seems to have mastered that now that she's obese. We've really got a remedy. Oh my God, she's vibrating. What is going on? Are you having a heart attack? Boo. God, that's disturbing. It's like that clip from The Simpsons where Homer's like in the doctor and he's like jiggling around because he's really fat. That's really all I can say. Uh, well, you learn your chess with your child on his massive stack of phone books. She's getting a logic skill, but you're not. You're not smart enough. You can't comprehend the chess. Come on. Yes, right. Fantastic. Now you can go to bed. Don't know what that is. Go away. No, I did it again. I keep clicking on that house over there. We're not doing that. Go to bed. Go to bed. Your child gained another point of logic skills. So it's successfully shown you up. How do you feel? Oh, we should buy a bed. That will probably um, remedy the situation. Bed. Bed for child. Bed. We're going to have a good bed. We can have the same bed that Holly had. We've got to stick with the theme, don't you think? You know, it would be weird not to have it. This is the bed that we envision in that room. We'll have it be yellow this time, instead of green. Mix it up a bit, you know? You don't want to walk down the same path twice. Yeah, go to bed. Stop staring at the uh, rain. It's not interesting. 
It's not the first time he's seen rain. At least I hope it's not the first time he's seen rain. You never know. They did spend most of their childhood on the kitchen floor. Why don't you have a shower well done instead of complaining loudly to no one that you smell? You know, if you start annoying me, I will send in all the ghosts and demons that haunt Aisha. And now I had you jump on the bed. You're not even tired, that's why. It's 2am, you're not tired? Get a better sleeping schedule, Viola. And Richard's playing video games. We really are terrible, terrible parents. Honestly. Our kids are just running wild. And what are we doing? Getting fat and being lazy and driving our sports cars around. Terrible. Okay, well, we are here. It's morning. The kids are... There's no food. There's no food. Eleanor? Eleanor, I swear to Jesus Christ. Let's order some food. Where's the computer? There's the computer. Order groceries. Wow, you walked all the way to the dishwasher just to put it on the floor. Eleanor, you're really grinding my gears at this point. Oh dear. Right. Food. Food. Or oh, you need $400 worth of food. Oh, it only lets you go up to the amount you need when you order it from the computer. Sorry? Charlie? You don't owe the money to buy groceries. Who the hell is Charlie? Eleanor? Um, that is weird. Shouldn't it say, sorry, Eleanor? Unless, sorry, Charlie is some kind of expression I've never heard of. That is weird. That is very weird. I'm extremely worried about the ghostly entities that appear to be haunting this episode. And now I can't even find the button for groceries again. What the hell is going on? Honestly, well didn't you you buy the groceries. Go go buy the groceries. Where's the phone? Use the phone. We gotta we gotta test this out. I keep thinking the phone is over there where it used to be. I'm just an old soul. Go come on. Let's buy groceries. Let's order groceries. Let's order an obscene amount that we can't afford. And see what it says. Thank you for your order. Well, that made no sense. Okay, so, update. There's lots of ghosts. There are ghosts haunting the grocery website. There are ghosts haunting Aisha. There are ghosts around every corner. And oh god, we are now not going to have any money to pay our maid. Um, well, we're going to have to sell something to pay her. Let's sell that. 60 bucks. That'll, the maid will take that, right? I don't know how much it costs to have a maid. Don't sue me. Nina's here reading our USA Today. And the kids will be crying their eyes out because of you, Nina. Well, we got food. Oh, and the trash compact is broken again. That thing is broken every single episode we visit you. What are you throwing away in the trash? The heads? Honestly, what is going on? I'm going to end the episode here. And hope that ghosts don't come and eat me in my sleep.